Hello, this is a free tutoring lesson uh, brought to you by thefreetutor.com. Today's topic is middle school math, and this lesson will cover comparing and ordering whole numbers. This is a skill or a math skill that should be mastered by the sixth grade level. Comparing and ordering whole numbers, so let's get to it. Say for example we want to compare 995 with 998. Typically when we compare numbers we use the greater than or less than or equal signs to compare the numbers. There's two methods for comparing and ordering whole numbers. The first method is, is we can use a number line. As you can see here in this picture, we have our number line set up, and the number line goes from 990 all the way to 1000, 1001. Now typically, as numbers move from left to right on a number line, they increase in value. In other words, the number to the left, or the furthest to the left on the number line is small in value. The number furthest to the right on a number line is greater in value. Um, so again, remember numbers moving from left to right increase in value. So on the number line above, we see that 995 is still left of 998. So we can, can conclude that 995 is less than 998. Method number two, which is obviously the preferred method, especially if we're, um, uh, you know, maybe we're taking a test or a multiple choice test. Um, we might not have the time to draw a number line. Uh, but method two requires us to use place value. Now when we use place value, there's some simple and easy steps we need to remember when comparing and ordering whole numbers. Step number one is to line the numbers up vertically or up and down. This just will simply make it easier to compare the numbers. Make sure that the numbers in the ones place or the ones digits are aligned correctly. As you can see here in this picture, we have 995 and underneath it 998, notice the two digits in the ones place are aligned correctly. Method two, when using place value, is to compare each digit of the numbers moving from left to right. This is key, you wanna, you wanna compare moving from left to right. Now as you can see in our picture here, in our, in our example, the first two digits are the same. Both the hundreds place and the, and the tens place in both numbers contain a nine, so they're exactly the same. But as we move from right to left, excuse me, as we move from left to right, I misspoke there, as we move from left to right, we get to the ones place and we can see that the eight, that there's an eight in one number and a five in the other and that the eight is greater than five in the ones place. So since eight is greater than five in the ones place, 995 is still less than 998. Okay, now we can use this exact same method for ordering whole numbers. Say, for example, we want to write the right in order from least to greatest, 10,875, 10,675, and 10,995. The steps are exactly the same for ordering whole numbers as it was for comparing whole numbers using place value. Step number one is we want to line the numbers up vertically or up and down and make sure that the numbers in the ones place or the ones digit is line, aligned correctly, as you can see in this picture. Once we have done that, then we're ready for step two. Step two says to compare each, di each of the digits of the numbers moving from left to right. Now, as you look at these numbers, you can see the first two numbers or the first two digits moving from left to right are exactly the same. You can see them colored in red. The first two digits are the same. But the third digit in each of the numbers, there is a difference. One of the, one of the numbers has an eight. The other two numbers has a six. We know that eight is greater than six, so we can, can conclude that 10,875 is the greatest number. Now we continue to move to the right. The next set of digits, the next two numbers, we can see we can compare the tens digit and the remaining numbers, and we can see that nine is greater than seven. So we can conclude that 10,695 is greater than 10,675. So by implementing this method, we have solved our math problem. Moving in order from least to greatest, the numbers are 10,675, 10,695, and 10,875. And that's it. So hopefully this has helped you in comparing and ordering whole numbers. If you would like, I would encourage you to go back, maybe stopping in between steps as you, as you go about solving your math problems. And this has been more homework help, free homework help from thefreetutor.com. Thank you very much.